Hi everyone. A question I often get asked, and I see often too, is what's a good scope to start out in astrophotography? When I first started, the main advice was a small compact refractor. And I still agree with this. Um, I bought myself a William Optics Zenith Star 61 when I first started, and it was an excellent scope, and I still own it today. Altair Astro have sent me one of their new scopes, a Starwave Accent 60ED. This is an absolutely lovely, small, compact uh, doublet refractor, really nice scope and not too expensive. So an excellent scope for someone starting out in astrophotography or someone looking for a small wide field scope that they can take uh, out easily, travel with or whatever. So I'm going to talk through the uh, details of that scope, show it to you and also give you some examples of what it can do. My name's Glenn and you're watching Astroblow. This is Altair Astro's Starwave Accent 60ED small refractor. It's a lovely compact design. It's a doublet design and it features FCD 100 ED glass and from my experience it gave great correction of colours, didn't see any chromatic aberration and uh, I thought the uh, re results were brilliant and you'll see that in the images that I've taken. It comes with a couple of really nice features. It's got a built-in rotator and it also comes with a rail on the rings so that you can mount a guide scope. Scope is very compact and is not heavy at all. It comes in at just over two kilograms in weight. So you've got this lovely compact scope but you do need a few other things before you can start imaging. So there's a few extras that you can buy for the scope to uh, improve things. One of them is the field flattener, which is the Altair M54 flattener for this scope. Uh, works really well and gave great results and uh, that's a nice addition to get a nice flat field across the frame. If you wanted to have something that gave you a bit more uh, versatility, they do also have the reducing flattener. Now I actually really like this, it gave a 0.8 reducing effect on the scope. What that meant was the standard focal length, which is 360 millimeters, is taken down to 288 millimeters, giving you a much wider field of view. It also speeds the scope up, so it takes it from an f6 to an f4.8, which is speeding it up quite a bit and nice for those dim targets. Because the scope doesn't weigh very much, you could just put a DSLR camera on the end and you could use it on a tracker without too many problems. If you wanted to go a step further and include guiding so that you could take really long exposures, then Altair Astro do a really nice guiding kit. This is a really nice little uh, guide scope actually and I had this on the rig and it did a brilliant job. Really easy to focus, you just unlock this locking ring and you twist the lens until you've got it all in focus. The guide cam, I really do like the GP cams actually, this is the 130M so it's a mono guide cam, but a nice feature with these is number one it screws on so there's none of this pushing in and out, it's very secure and it's uh, fitting to the scope. And a really nice thing I liked was the fact that you connect to it through a USB-B connection not uh, USB-C. Now, I've found that with some of my other cameras with the USB-C, they're a very fragile connection. Um, the cables can easily get caught and, they, and the pin can get bent. Um, this is much sturdier and I liked it. But this gave uh, really great uh, images for guiding and uh, I really like this actually. I think it's a nice piece of kit. As I said, you could just use a DSLR camera uh, that you own with uh, with this setup, 
Auto Astro actually sent me their 533 color called camera to use with the uh, kit and this was a lovely camera I must say Altair make very nice cameras with some really good extra features in there and they're not overly priced so the Altair um, 533 color camera comes in at um, £899 new and the mono version is only £100 more um, they come with great guarantees and they've got a lot of extra features in them that you don't get with other cameras. So firstly, this has got a built-in UVIR cup filter. Um, so for broadband targets, if you're in a nice dark location, you don't need to put any filters with this. And I will show you a picture later of, of what, that, what that looks like. Um, but a really lovely camera and I'm going to be doing a separate video on this so that I can uh, give it the attention it deserves. So although the camera is capable of taking nice broadband pictures because of the built-in UV IR cup filter, Altair also sent me their magnetic filter drawer which is a really nice piece of kit and in here I've got an Altair filter and it's their 6 nanometer. Uh, dual band HA and O3 ultra filter and um, it's a really really nice filter it did work exceptionally well again I will have some images so that you can see what that achieved a nice feature of the Altair filter is it does come with a filter test report and uh, I've spoken to Altair and they assure me that each test report is unique to each filter so they come certified They've uh, ran proper tests on them so that they know that the coatings are doing what they're supposed to do and they give you a chart showing you the band pass that that filter's giving you. I must say I had no complaints with it at all. I really did enjoy using the filter. It worked exceptionally well and um, yeah, if I'm in the market for one in the future, I think I'll definitely be looking at these. Here I have the completed rig for imaging and uh, this is a typical setup. We've got your scope that we've been talking about. Attached to that, I've got the 0.8 uh, reduced flattener. Then I've got the magnetic filter drawer inside of that. I've got the six nanometer uh, duo band filter of HA and O3. And I've got the 533 color camera by Altair at the back there. And on top, we've got their package of the guide scope with the 130 GP cam uh, mono guide camera. So a really nice little setup and it actually doesn't weigh too much. So the total weight of this rig is uh, 3.2 kilograms. Now that's actually a really good weight because uh, star trackers um, and most small mounts can handle up to about five kilograms. So you're coming in under that, so you should easily be able to handle a, a little setup like this, which is which is brilliant, especially if you want to get out in the field, go to a dark site, or you need something that's a bit more portable. And uh, the nice thing is you're not going to need a huge mount or anything overly expensive to be able to handle a scope like this, so you can get into astrophotography fairly cheaply. And of course, if you've already got a DSLR, you can put a DSLR on the end of this and use that as your camera. You don't need to buy an Astro cord camera. This can be um, a step that you move to later on. This is a lovely camera and I will be doing a more in-depth video on this camera and also talking about the mono version that they do of the 533. Really nice camera, but you'll see that when you see the images in a minute. 